Item SCP-1500 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures SCP-1500 is to be kept in a modified humanoid containment cell in Site-17. The chamber should be lit with grow lights that are to be on at all times. Should a light burn out, an automated system has been set up to replace the bulb. The floor in the chamber is set to be lined with soil. Collected rainwater laced with clays and nutrients is to be pumped into the cell no fewer than two times per week. To prevent damage to SCP-1500, no personnel are to be allowed into its containment cell under any circumstances, and no security cameras are to be placed within the cell. To prevent light contamination, the cell is to have no windows. Description SCP-1500 is a humanoid that demonstrates vegetal characteristics. It is capable of photosynthesis due to gradual replacement of melanin in its skin with chlorophyll. If left in one place for an extended period of time, SCP-1500 will extend thin fibers into the ground that seek out soil and draw nutrients and water from it. During the course of its containment, SCP-1500 has become steadily more plant-like. As of the 15th of January, 2000 and SCP-1500 has reported great difficulty in moving on its own, and examination has revealed that cellulose now surrounds many cells in SCP-1500's body. Due to SCP-1500's transitional state, it is extraordinarily fragile, and is to be left undisturbed to prevent any damage. At the time of containment, SCP-1500 was a somewhat overweight Caucasian male named Zachary Callahan. He came to the attention of the Foundation when he was hospitalized after a blood test revealed abnormal sugars more commonly found in tree sap. He agreed to the Foundation containment upon discovery of a buildup in chlorophyll in his skin. SCP-1500 proved at peace with his condition and requested to be left alone to finish his transformation. Attempts to discover the origin of SCP-1500's anonymous properties have thus far proven fruitless.